Well, hello. This is uh, different now. I am doing a streaming thingy because uh, I was doing a little show on YouTube which got uh, barely any views and barely any of those views watched more than one minute of them. And I was doing a whole little thing about how I'm slowly going crazy and this whole thing about slipsism and how I'm dry, I'm not dealing with it well. And I, I don't think anyone really uh, got that. They were just like, ha ha, you're screaming about cartoon funny, ha. Huh? So anyway, I'm just going to do a little thingy here about cartoons and uh, hopefully that is fun for everyone <laughs> yeah so anyway I got a VHS not really a VHS but a, record, a recording of a VHS that I got from the great people at archive.org for preserving things and uh, so let's take a look at uh, VHS's from the 70s, or 1997, yeah, 1997, is that big enough, clear enough, good enough, I'm gonna go right here, hi everyone, it's me, I gotta configure, um, I should have configured my video settings before I started, no, it's too late, oh well, alright, let's get to the VHS, it is cartoon network all right yeah powerpuff girls the amoeba boys they find uh some money on the ground and the judge says oh you, the powerpuff girls did it and the powerpuff girls yes we did it and what no and he says sentence them to death and then the powerpuff girls beat up the amoeba boys and everyone goes home and uh I wish I could have showed you more, but we got all this DMCA bullshit gonna fly in my fucking face if I do that. So let's just rush through that. And, uh, oh, they get, they get a hug after. No, that's just a thing from the, the that's just a scene. You is 48 hours straight on car. Oh, I like the Powerpuff Girls when they put on masks and commit crimes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, we're watching a VHS. Um, yeah, why am I not acting crazy anymore? Well, uh, none of you got, got it. So now we're just doing this. So deal with that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the O format. But uh, this is just a, a stream of a... Of the of the of the, of the, of the VHS tape, and we'll go back to doing cartoons, and I'll have to put a point of PowerPoint presentation of some sort, I guess, so I can have the little thing in the corner, so while I yell about it. So um, yeah, so we'll do those live. So that'll be fun. I don't have to do a goddamn whole shitload of editing, that's for sure. Ah, anyway, let's uh proceed. Probably should schedule these things so people can watch them as I'm doing them live. That would be a, a wise move. Two Two networks, networks, new shows whatever. Shows. I'm an unwise man. Oh, the, a cartoon show. That's where all the cartoons came from. It's where Family Guy originated, I think, maybe. Or was it on the cartoon cart? Or was it on... Blam, kablam. Maybe I don't think it was what a cartoon. I don't know. It Family Guy started here. Yeah, it was like an early version of Family Guy, and he was like a bald old man. Peter was. <laughs> ah, no. Shall we uh, continue? I don't think anyone's. Uh, actually in here watching but uh we are recording so we should probably uh, try at least trying is always good trying is all we have in the world is trying so try anyway let's see what's holy shit go back go back join us next time for oh, i want to see the pretty girls Three cartels! The 
lot of cartoon show. Pretty girls in the bathing suits, oh my. I, I like the ponytail. And the legs and the gams on the gams. The gams. Alright, stop perving on cartoons, Jack. That's not a good thing to be doing in a public thoroughfare. So this is Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo is was that it? Is this not an episode? Oh, it's a, yeah. Johnny killed the fat lady. That was a lot of trajectory. That was a rapid trajectory. Look at this. She he slammed. Oh, it, it's a bit to the side. Okay. A bit to the side, Johnny. A bit to the side, Johnny. Hmm. Radio Shack. Radio Shack. Oh, fucking Radio Shack. There, before there was... Radio Shack held on for like a whole hell of a long time. And, uh... uh they had like nothing but like crap at the end. But, long ago, they were the place to go. They had all the latest gadgetries and they had the, the the tiger electronic games and and the little uh, monster truck remote control radio control you had to know if it was radio or remote control because remote control would have the fucking wire attached to it the remote con radio control would shoot the radio and go uh, wireless you want the wireless one. Definitely. Fucking wired ones were bullshit. Tough luck, Teddy. Oh, tough luck, Teddy. I got the fucking meanest monster machine in the goddamn land. Run the baby over. Run the goddamn baby over. Don't hit the dog. The dog didn't do nothing. But babies are fucking assholes and you know it. Run them over. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, don't run over naked Rambo. What? What is wrong with him? <laughs> bah, bah, bah. RC yeah. cars from Radio Shack. This is awesome. RC cars, radio else. control, baby. Just a toy. Yeah. yeah. Fucking shit was metal. Metal as fuck, man. Things can't be metal no more. No, it gotta be. Oh, looky here. Here's a safe little ball. Your baby can bounce and he won't hurt himself. And everyone will be just so cool. Do, do, do. No, Radio Shack had fucking kill machines that would fuck up things. And yeah, ha <laughs> ha. How you doing? You liking my show so far? I'm trying to be nicer because... The craziness kind of put people off because they don't get me. But, uh, anyway. Oh. Yeah. Where were we? We were watching. You've got questions. We've You've got, got questions. Answers. We've got answers. That's, that's, that's somebody else's phrase. I'm very, very absolutely sure that is somebody. That's a telephone information phrase freeze I think eh, who cares who the fuck cares about anything or anybody or any where or any what or any batteries not included what the fuck it just morphed into a coke straw Dara we're you doing mines yay <laughs> oh that's Oh, that looks cool. I'd like to put those in my hair. I always like the girl toys. The boy toys. 
bored me. Except the ones with the slime. I like the ones that slime the toys. But the girls wouldn't let me play more madness with them, and, and ever since then I've been angry at the girls. <laughs> so. Raise the next engine, come another thing you see here. Hot wheels! Hot wheels! I love these little cars. I had a little Thunderbird and a Firebird. And I only know that because they had a big Thunderbird and a Firebird on the hood. They looked awesome. And I had a little minivan one. And oh shit kicked ass. Moon launch! The moon launch! That's not a Hot Wheels, that's a fucking rocket. A Hot Wheel is a tiny thing. What the fuck? It transforms into a complete space shuttle launch site. Go! Fuck me. A voyage to the moon. Eject the cockpit. Eject the emergency vehicles. Holy shit. Save the day. Oh, fuck, I want this. You can put all your fucking shit in there and send. The enemies to die in space and, and, uh, and send your cars to the moon. I don't care if combustion is impossible in a zero vacuum environment. Don't kill my dreams. <coughs> <coughs> Let's continue, shall we? One. I away. Oh my god, PlayStation. What is it gonna be? Sir. I think it's. Oh, it is. It's the Crash Bandicoot. That's on. I never got into Crash Bandicoot. I was playing Banjo Kazooie. Nipped out your pockets. Huh. Are you wearing a watch? Oh, for goodness sake. Every time I come here. After a short vacation, Crash is back. back. Crash and the little commercials. They were cute. A man in a big furry suit just being wacky. I mean, advertisements were fun, wacky, wacky things once upon a time. And now, it is so controlled. They're so smoothed over and sanitized. No fun allowed. What's up with that? What is up with that? I don't know. It's maddening. Fucking maddening. Anyway, let's go continue. This, this time, time, he's, he's ready, ready for just, just about it. Eddie. Eddie. I am not comfortable with this. Crash Bandicoot. Hello. This, this is where we take the time to answer letters and email from you. Welcome to Cartoon Network Respond. You could write a letter to Cartoon Network and they'd respond. No. The ones that get on TV are like from their ugly nephews or something. And they'd have like an intern or unpaid servant respond to your little child letters and that. Uh, Anyone getting any letters from here? Anyone? Oh, I'm all alone in here. I forgot. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cartoon Network responds. What is our letter today, Mr. Cartoon Network? Dear Cartoon Network. Dear Cartoon Network. What, what about the last, last ep episodes of the Pirates of Dark Water? I really, really want to know what happens to them. Oh, God. Pirates of Dark Water. Oh, I remember about that. They were pirates. There was a big, fat, ugly, drooly pirate man. And, 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 coming to take me away. Ah, uh, there was a, the dark water. It was like oily ocean, oily, oily ocean water. And they would eat ya. And, uh, yeah, that was the Pirates of Dark Water. And I guess it never ended right, like so many series from way back when. 
So, Episodes so, of the podcasting cop of Dark Water. Dark Water. I really, really want to know what happens to them. Laverne, what a great question. You are in luck, because right here in my hand are the only existing copies of the lost, never-before-seen episodes of the Pirates of Dark Water! Watch as the cat laughs the milk. Laughing and laughing and laughing. Hey, who's been messing with the tapes? Laughing and laughing. Yeah, this sort of thing. Been around a while. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Somebody, Somebody must have taped over the last episode of the Pirates of the Dark Water. Well, until next time, pen pals, stay tuned for more of your letters right here on Cartoon Network Response. Totally worth it, bro. Totally worth it. Totally worth the hype. Cartoon Network Response. Show a little picture of a kitty cat to troll the little child wants to know how his favorite show ended. That's how that's that's how we got entertainment back then. We just laugh at the stupid little children. Crush their hopes. Ha ah, nothing you like is sacred. It belongs to us and we will smash it for we let you put your pretty dirty little paws on it. Anywho Continuing off now. Cartoon, cartoon. Cartoon, cartoon. Oh, Johnny Bravo. Lovely Johnny Bravo. Sexual harassment. Being. <laughs> yeah. Sexual harassment is so hilarious in the 90s. Jumbo Johnny. Uh oh. We're gonna do some fat shaming. Let's do it. <laughs> Fatty fat shaming. And it's also the other hilarious thing in the 90s. And gays. Three things in the 90s we found funny. <laughs> so. They start in the gym. Johnny's in the gym tying one off. He's... Why do you think he wears sunglasses all the time? He's riding the dragon. Or is it riding the pony? Is it the dragon or a pony? I fo- I don't know. I don't do your heroines. Heroines. So. He's tying off. And this guy. Stranger danger. He puts a roofie in Johnny's drink. And Johnny... Is like, oh no, what, what's going on? This man is so creepy. What is, what, I, I, I feel sleepy. And my nipples are hard. What is happening to my body? <laughs> so, this guy, he does a thing on the computer. Johnny is like, wow, okay, computers are fun. So Johnny, he gets some steroids and protein powders and he puts on the bulk. That's why you don't use steroids and protein powders and without tapering off. And You, you, you need a medical professional or else you're just going to develop a large amount of mass that's going to gestate into a large amount of fat. Uh, uh, Poor, poor Johnny Bravo. I mean, um, mm, and the testicles that go, they go tiny and they puff away in a puff of smoke. <laughs> All right, what, what are we doing here? I don't know. We were looking at a VHS tape. This is like a really, really long tape. And, um, yeah, I need to get my screen here open so I know how much battery I have left I don't have a lot of battery left oh shit alright um, I'll just switch to my other camera I don't have to use that one but I like it anyway Johnny's a big fatty fat fat he's eating everything because he's so fat 
people bounce balls on his fat ass. I used to be fat too, Johnny. And it's not fun, is it? Is it? Well, you deserve it, you fucking pompous ass motherfucker. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little worked up. I do that sometimes. I am troubled in the head. I grew up in an era when if you didn't straight up have Down syndrome, then you weren't autistic. <laughs> so they give you shut the fuck up pills. Stick you in the corner with the TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, don't, if I make fun of autistic people, it's because I'm f really f fucking autistic, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Is that a surprise? I mean, fucking, I mean, all these autistic people they put in the media are just like boring assholes. And, yeah, I'm I'm sort of crazy in the head, but uh, I I think I'm a decent enough person. I mean, I was nonverbal for four years, and I I'm trying to be verbal now, but it's hard because people are just grating on my. So anyway, back to the show that we were doing, uh, if we could. I mean, I'm a programmer. I that takes a, a degree of autism to do, <laughs> or else you just uh, go nuts. Uh, so Johnny's fat. Mama's disgusted with him. Just disgusted. Mama don't love you no more, Johnny. Your looks were all you had going, and now you're just a shame to the family. So Johnny's like, ah, I'm going, I'm going to get uh, fit again. I guess. Why not? <laughs> that sounds like a thing to do. So Johnny, he, he uh, explodes the house with his fatness. What just happened? All right. Uh, oh, he eats more of the fatty shake. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to get a DMCA on me. So, Johnny blows up the house. And now he's more fatter than ever now. For some reason. Oh, big women. 50 foot women, scantily clad. You, you boys think you're gonna sneak a little, a little, a little peek, get a little, a little peeky, at a little, a little slip, a little slip uh, to the side, get a little peek. Oh well, that, that's that's just wrong of you, because she may be a 50 foot woman, but she is still a proud and dignified woman, murdering everyone, murder. Is no excuse for I rape. <laughs> uh, I think we as a society have to decide whether all rape is funny or no rape is funny because there is no in between. Is Hitler being raped with a pineapple an acceptable punishment for any bad behavior? How? What is? What is the cutoff? for being anally sodomized by a pineapple. How many deaths exactly? What the fuck am I talking about? Johnny Bravo. He's fat. Okay. We're back on track now. Back in a 50 foot. Let's uh, continue. So, here comes Johnny. He steps on people. And he starts making out with the billboard lady. Because uh, that's what fat people do. They just make out with pictures of girls because they're sad. Not that I would know. <laughs> so, Johnny smashes a car with his fat ass. And uh, there, oh, that's the scientist guy. He's back and he made a thing. And uh, they, they go to 
Give Johnny the thing. That'll make him better again. But his head is still big and fat. And the rest of his body's tiny. And that's that's the Johnny Bravo show. Yay. 1997. Don't go changing to try to please me. Johnny Bravo will be right back on Cartoon Network. I like you, Johnny. You got me up. Johnny was a cool guy. Stood up. Sir. Really? This guy again. Don't need that. Oh, what's that? You're home. Let you go, go, go. What the f? Ooh, Barbie RV. A fucking RV. That's why I wanted. I didn't want it because it was girls shit. I mean, it was a RV. I wanted a RV. I could cook and I need to, to cook to survive. It's survival, not. I, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I need to know how to shop at a mall. I need to know how to brush my hair and braid it and make it pretty. No one ever taught me that. Because I'm supposed to be a big man, play football. I'm supposed to just play football. They just sent me out there and go, oh, go play football. We're, you're not going to practice. All we did practice was run back and forth, all of the practice. There was no actual practicing of the game. They just said, okay, go play football. And, I'd go, wow, and these are, you're the tackle. You just tackle. I, and they, I get all these flags and, and, and penalties. And they say, well, what did I do wrong? You say, you're supposed to play football right. And I, I don't know how to do that. So. <laughs> uh, and then I played Madden for many years to learn the rules. And by then, they didn't want. That was a waste. <laughs> All right. So I got into weightlifting and got big and strong. Anyway. Barbie RV. Look at that girl. She's She is enamored. She is fucking having a fucking mind fuck right now. Just, Holy shit. There's just so many possibilities. Barbie RV! Oh my god. So. Oh, we're missing Ken! We're fucking missing Ken! How could you do that? You left him at the fucking beach? Just abandoned him? He, he could have died. He could have been raped by stray dogs. Yeah, that's a thing that happens. Bunch of horny dogs on the beach to just come and rape you. Especially a little boy toy like Ken. They have their way with him. <laughs> uh, from moon launch. Moon launch again. Okay. Oh, what the fuck are these? Cap, you can doodle and tie that. That, that's, a, that's a song that sounds licensed it's the, the, the doodle bear the doodle bear you could doodle on the bear you could pretty much doodle on any bear but then you could uh, wash it and then wait for it to dry and then doodle on it again you only doodled on this once be fucking honest don't don't pretend that you ever washed your doodle bear you never washed your doodle bear. Doodle bear or anywhere. Wash me clean. All the slams. Killer driller. Slam walk stock. Slammer, baby. Yeah. Fucking RCs were badass back then. Now it's like this all this it's like a hobbyist thing now. You have to go to a specialty shop and build your own and it's like run but gatekeeped gate gatekeeped 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 it's gatekeeped by these fucking RC enthusiasts 
uh, can't just go buy a badass RC car anymore. He has to commission one for thousands of dollars. Fucking A. The world sucks now in so many ways. I'm old. I'm old. Old, 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 old ex Jack. All right, continuing on. Sure, sure we, we all have Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dinner, dinner, but sometimes, sometimes it takes a talking fat girlfriend. Stocks is Tyco Slurr, only from Tyco RC. Tyco battery pack and quartz all separately. Sure, we all... Just bugs and his... He's feeding his... his balloon, he's feeding his girlfriend. His fatty, fat girlfriend. And then he moved up to Lola. Lola. Lola, Lola, Lola. I'm not going to speak of Lola because that brings up a lot of bad memories. Anyway, um... I love Thanksgiving dinner, but sometimes it takes a talking to squirrel to remind us of the true meaning of Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Quaker bitches. Mm. <laughs> it's a wonderful day to say thank you. You said it, talking squirrel. You. Is that Phil Hartman I hear? Phil Hartman, you son of a bitch. Sure, we all love Thanksgiving dinner, but sometimes it takes a talking squirrel to remind us of that the is Phil of Hartman. It's a wonderful day to say thank you. You said it. Damn you, Andy Dick. It's your fault he's dead. Talking squirrel, you said it. Tonight at 7, it's Cartoon Network's Thanksgiving special. Thanksgiving special? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That night. Now back to Johnny Bravo and Cartoon Network. Back to Johnny Bravo. Alright, so Johnny's playing karate and he needs the perfect gift for someone. It's, uh, I guess, maybe that little girl there. Sure. So, girl has a lemonade stand and uh, people pay her $1,000 for her lemonade because she is fucking bitten by the good luck fairy, I guess. And uh, <laughs> So she goes to Mexico and Johnny's like, Okay, bring me back some Mexican ephedras and some uh, poppers and uppers and downers and, and juji bobbers and black hornets and dilly bobs and joma jangos and what the f sexual assault? Here comes a sexual assault. Oh, there you go. Tries to kiss a girl. Girls don't like kissing. I like kissing. I'm sorry, I almost cried there. Anyway. <laughs> Only 25 bucks. Um, uh, for the taking. Uh, hang on, I think I have to make Oh, first. that's assault. That's assault, Johnny. Johnny, no. Johnny, no. Johnny, no. Johnny is, uh, I guess, harmed. Yes, he's harmed. And, uh, but he's okay because he's used to it. And so she gets more money because, yay, Yay, precociousness. Award your precociousness because mm, that's the way of the world, I guess. So she builds a house out of money. A house out of fucking money. That is so egregiously wasteful. No, you could help so many people, you bitch. You fucking little redhead bitch. And so this little man comes and he is like, Wow, you're big, so... What the fuck? His head is detached. What? Chop faster. That'll be 25 bucks. Oh, it gets his head chopped off by a tree. Yes, okay. So, a kissing booth now. Okay, lemonade booth is now a kissing booth. And nobody wants to kiss him, so he goes to work at the cheese sandwich factory. And they kick him out because he didn't put enough cheese on the cheese sandwich. I love Freddy Got Fingered. It's my favorite movie because of my daddy issues. Now, <laughs> wow, Johnny goes to test things, batteries for smoke detectors by wearing a helmet of electricity. And he goes and 
fucking little bitch keeps rubbing her money in his face. Why is she doing this? Why do people root for her? Why? She is being rude. She should get comeuppance. But no, she's precocious. And that gives her a free pass. A free pass, really? Really, is that the message we are sending to our children? Uh, no wonder. No wonder. Yeah. Anyway. Johnny. A sad. What's this about the perfect gifts? I, f I don't even know what this episode is about. And uh, Johnny's like, hey, you, love is the perfect, family is the perfect gift. Yay. And so this lady uh, runs him over. Man, I, I hate, hate women, women drivers. drivers. Oh. Right I can't say that, Johnny. Cartoon Network. Well, that's his opinion. He's not stating that they are bad, just that he hates them, and that is a hateful message, but it is an honest one. Where do you draw the line? Can we not express what we believe? Are we ignorant for it? Yes, maybe, but it is what we believe, and if it is to be corrected, it is up to us to correct. And I believe that there is not an avenue for correction people have to be born perfect they're not allowed to make a mistake and I don't think that's right in most cases fuck you Jim Duggar bastard anyway <laughs> cartoon network let's go watch some more bitches <laughs> The thing you do, do, do. There's a girlfriend and a million gold grickles thing. Okay. I, uh, that's, that's. Convince your best friend that he needs to dress up like the princess. Only the king knows better, so you get kicked out, and then you don't get the grickles, and then it turns out your girlfriend was the princess the whole time, and she doesn't like you anymore. Oh, well. Right. Yeah. So let's skip ahead. We're only like 24 minutes into this. I'm going to have to go. So Johnny Bravo, da 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 VHS, yay. I am Dexter, star of Dexter's Lobo. We're going to have to skip the episodes because I'm just kind of rambling through them anyway. Yeah. Dexter's show of the new season today at 11.30 a.m. on Cartoon Network. All I do is watch the commercials. Thank you, young man. Thank you, young man. Don't mention it. See? He just gets punished because he was doing it for the wrong reasons. But if doing the right thing for the wrong reasons results in the right thing, is it a bad thing? Is it the wrong thing? I don't know. I'm just a fucking lunatic with a stupid cartoon complainy show. Yeah. Doodle bear with tie dye fun. Yeah, I'm a doodle. Mr. Doodle Bear. Well, that's great. And there's our C's again. We just gotta repeating ourselves here. Jake will be Popeye. I swear they taught you how to draw Popeye. Very lightly sketch the main shapes of the character. That's actually darker than you want. Yeah. This step, which seems like the easiest, should be done most carefully. Okay, this is where they try. No, that's, that's still, still a little dark. dark. Careful. Before this, okay, sorry. Day, it's a, you just can't be too careful on this then first step. Up. You're, You're doing, doing great, great, Peggy. Hey? That's troll. <laughs> this is kind of funny. In there. I, I know you can do it. There, that's it. Now, step number two can be drawn right on top of step number one. Lightly. Good. And as I said, you can be more and more firm as you go along. 
And there he is, Popeye the Sailor Man. Can you see him? He's waving at you. Great job, and keep drawing. That was hilarious. You know, they used to teach you how to actually draw, and then they just like, well, fuck you. We could do whatever we want. We're Cartoon Network. Who else has cartoons all day? Nobody, baby. Nobody. Oh, it's cow and chicken. They, they had like a ball. They treated his little waddle like a ball sack. they had a joke about carpet munching buffalo women bikers <laughs> I thought that was pretty awesome but uh, I can see how uh, it might be construed as offensive to some but so can my asshole so what are you gonna do All right, we got to skip through this because time is of the essence, right? Right. So, uh, uh oh, white face. <laughs> uh, I don't like doing woke jokes. That seems beneath my status. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh. oh, I like these little claymation things they did. It's so interesting, the things from back then, because there was room for effort and it didn't have to look perfect and turn out great. It just could be people fucking around with the technology of Turner Network. Yeah. This program is brought to you by Chuck E. Cheese's. We're a kid can be a kid. You know, what I love is Discovery Zone. I got to go there before they went away, and it was just tubes. It was like a, a hamster wonder playland for children sized people. And like, mm, it was fun. And, and then you had to go. You had to go, and then you drive past it and say, closed forever. Just bye. You had the one, one, little, one little chance to make a, a memory. <laughs> the time is so short. You're so in the moment, you just not really any memories to be had. Uh, anyway, Kid. I'm about to cry again. <laughs> oh, the launching thing again. And the thing again. Oh, shit. It's guess who? Can you guess who? Is it the dude with the thing? On his face? Yeah? Okay. Mm, that shit was rigged, man. If you got the dude with the hat and glasses, you were fucked. I know, it's David! It's David! Is it the guy that looks like a bad toucher? It's David! <laughs> I win! <laughs> I win! Let's play again. Except they'd say, let's not play again. And the board would continue to flip in my direction until it hit me in the head. The game cards should talk by now. It's 2021. Why don't we have game cards that actually talk yet? It's the future. Are you telling me it's not possible? Are you telling me that? Don't tell me that. 
Chucky, you hippie bastard, you've been hitting the bong again, haven't you? This is why your maintenance of your arcade area has become lackadaisical as of late, because all your bong hitting. I've been cleaning the vomit out of the ball pits. It's starting to smell. You just shove that whole pizza in his down his throat. It's gonna. You have to chew. Oh my God! It's gonna cause gastrointestinal. Uh, all that bread, all that bread and cheese unchewed. It's going to. Uh, have you ever woken up just like you vomit you, you need to shit but you can't shit so you just writhe in your in pain oh my god <laughs> but uh yeah here I am on a Chuck E. Cheese commercial talking about writhing in pain <laughs> needing to shit <laughs> at the place to be a kid that is so cool Hey, Kool-Aid man. Who's that? Why is there just a basketball boy floating in the background? <laughs> well, that was... All right. And moving forward. Cow and chicken. Wackity wacky. Red butt guy. We love it all. It's mostly butts and nipples and ball sacks and that was yeah 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 so moving forward what is this any other place in the world Betty's place <laughs> oh, Betty Rubble the movie big cartoon library is bigger than four whole empire state buildings put together and it's even bigger around than my aunt Edna and uncle Jim combined what is this? What is this? Library of cartoons. It's crazy in there. And guess what? There aren't any books in the library. Roger Ramjet. I remember him. He was on the Rocky and Bullwinkle. Right? 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 Thanksgiving that almost wasn't. Horton Ears a Who. Was Horton Ears a Who a Thanksgiving movie? Oh, it was the original. Maybe the original Horton Ears a Who was about Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't know. Next. What's next? Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, it's Dexter's Laboratory. I like Dexter's mom. She had it going on. Stop perving on cartoons, Jack. It's off-putting to normals. Yeah. Uh, I am Weasel. Smug motherfucker. Smug Weasel. I'm not a baboon. I'm not a baboon. I would always compare myself to the baboon and feel down upon myself. Why would I do that? Because I was a sad sack growing up. And, uh, not going to let that affect my now because my now is all I have in the world alright enough of that does that say cunt museum oh plant museum it's a plant museum okay skipping ahead we gotta get through this before my batteries die alright and what oh they get no it gets married to a lizard Okay. That's great. Anyway, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? This match. Some of you folks are thinking Space Ghost Coast to Coast and Cartoon Planet are the same show, but Cartoon Planet is a spin off. What's a spin off? A spin off is a show that is born of another wildly popular show. Like how chairs spun off into Frasier. I thought Space Ghost was a spin off of Cartoon Planet. Planet. Which one came first? Right, right. And, and Barney, Barney Miller spat out fish. Happy, Happy days had a baby in the end. Don't call to Johnny Love Chachi. Who are you calling Chachi? I'm calling you fish. Go fish. 
It's a cartoon planet. Today at noon on Cartoon Network. You're looking you right. I could have sworn Cartoon Planet came first. Brecky and My crystal ball to see your future. This is not gonna work, Cal. Please, big brother. Please, big brother. Just wait. Oh, what's this? What the Oh, the dogs and cats and their dead eyes. Look at those dead fucking eyes, man. Introducing new dancing cat. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with this dog? It looks deranged. It's the face of a dog before you have to put a shotgun to him. Oh, yell. Dogs and cats. What the hell? How, how are these a thing? They had so many dog and cat things and they put out these fucking wall-eyed bastards. <laughs> oh, hell. Star Castle. Star Castle. Oh my god, it's one of those little teeny tiny motherfucking things and you lose one, it's gone forever. Fucking... Things will fall apart if you breathe on them wrong. Play the flimsiest, tiniest little plastic things that just snap and. Magical carnival. Connect them. Things barely hanging on, just in the commercial. Fucking tiny, useless. Barbie, 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 Give me a souped up sun jammer, I'll fucking cruise that down Main Street. That's ball. You could talk to fucking Barbie on that thing. You can go get popsicles. Who the fuck kind of fucked up neighborhood uh, all the children have a Wind jammer. All the adults conspire to buy their children a wind jammer. Nobody had the same wind jammer, and they're all working, all in working condition. No, that's a fantasy. Tell, uh, what was wrong with your mouth, Barbie? Is... <laughs> God damn, Barbie, what the fuck is that? CGI. Of the 90s. Barbie Sunjammer Bar for Power Wheels by Fisher Pro An attempt was made at, at mouth movement there, but that was not. Uh, Price, adult supervision required, phone batteries not included. Oopsie Daisy! It's Oopsie Daisy! Uh oh! Oopsie Daisy's having a oopsie! Whoops! Oopsie! Gonna fall down and cry. Oopsie. They just gave you baby dolls designed to annoy the fuck out of everyone within earshot. Just learning to crawl. When you fall down, just pick yourself up. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Oh, fuck you, oopsie daisy.
rotten hell. I hope you died of sudden infant death syndrome. <laughs> it's oopsie daisy. She's not alive, really. Daisy, batteries not included. <laughs> New from Irwin. Uh. My child died of sudden infant death syndrome. I'm sorry. People die of things all the time. You can't just not talk about death ever again because you might feel sad. It's not how existence works. Why must you humiliate your children for your own amusement? You're a wicked, wicked, wicked person. You are a wicked, horrible person. Just a sociopath beyond reckoning, beyond redemption. Fun. Is that? Oh, it's zip zap, zip zap, zubidi bop, zigzag, or whatever the fuck his name is. It's a Burger King motherfucking kids club, and I had a fucking crush on that roller skating chick, cause she wore the the, the sh car the short cargo shorts, man, and the ponytail. I'm a sucker for a ponytail, man. That's just mm, she's tall, tall as a tree. That's probably the roller skates, though. But still, she's tall. Oh, stop perving on fucking fast food mascots, Jack. This is why you're not allowed in the Wendy's anymore. Ah, fine. Continuing on. Oh, is that a bat from the Anastasia movie? That was like a weird movie that wasn't from Disney or anyone, but it. New movie Anastasia. Now Anastasia. You can get one cool toy inside every kid. Got a cool toy with an eyeball. I was Rasputin's eyeball. Rasputin was like a melty man. Because he died too much or something. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in so many years. Uh, I'm old. I'm so old. It's lovely. That hurt. Great food. Great food. Cool stuff. Great food. Uh, great food. I, the tacos were all right, but... Great fun. No Burger Kings didn't even have a play place, so that's another lie. No. And I'm not going back. I'll see these trippy things. I love the trippy things. Wow. I like those. Alright, let's uh, continue on. We got Dexter Laboratory. Day if you can see DD as a sexual object, then you are um, not well. Because what the fuck? That's not. That's like she resembles more like a squirrel than a human being, <laughs> or some kind of antelope. <laughs> I'm not turned on by antelope. Oh, what's Dexter wearing? Oh, that's oh, De this is the one where Dexter tries to be handsome man and he oh that's creepy as hell. Oh, we gotta get through this. <laughs> Almost to the end. Gotta get through to the end. What is now available? What is this? What is this? What's this? Step through, sir. Oh, that's crap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Ripping roaring dinosaur and what the Here's fuck, you man? Up to rain. You're coming a cage spitter dinosaur. Watch cage out, he's loose. With radio control, you make him spit, him spit over 20 feet. What? With type of rechargeable 6 feet power for maximum speed, what? the Lost World RC with. We fill that thing with piss, and fox piss, and ruin someone's day. Spitter dinosaur. Yeah. Holy from Tycho RC. Tycho battery pack. Oh, shit. Sold separately. The Lost World. The Lost World. That was like the second one, right? That was the, yeah. No, the second one. Yeah, the one with Jeff Goldblum had the uh, gymnast daughter that 
beat her beat a velociraptor with her gymnast gymnastics <laughs> Jurassic. am i talking funny for you am i uh, sorry i can't get a uh, straight thing that's better anyway all right so Park, now available on video cassette rated pg-13 right along Hot Wheels saw this already. Do, do, do. Another RC car. This is the one where Dexter turns into bubble gum and then it's over. And then Thanks, it's faster. Slower. What is this? Underwater, overwater, topsy turvy, clockwise, counterclockwise, Bob up real close, Bob from Bob's point. Now Bob's Bobalicious. There are a hundred billion gazillion ways to look at Bob, or for that matter, anything else. So what are you looking at? There's no such thing as ordinary or boring when you try a new point of view. Yeah. Anime. They just have little uplifting things here. Animate your world. We're having fun. We're not crushed by a corporate soulless entity quite yet. We will be. He is the brightest mind of his time. He is the creator of the world's most impressive laboratory. He is able to communicate. Nito completo. Torpedo. And so we get some more Dexter. Ooh. Hot for teacher. No. Okay, Jack, what you must you perv over every cartoon character you see? That's, okay, and that's not helping. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, this is the one where Dexter goes to detention. And they put him in the hole, in the, in the floor, in the hole in the floor. That's, that was, uh, brings back memory. Can I play with this? No. 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 How about this? No. I remember that. Whoa, there's a giant fry-eating bush outside. A giant fry-eating bush sounds like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I sincerely apologize. <laughs> A frying bush. Come on. Aha! Fry kids. Fry kids. The old pile of fry kids. It looks like a bush. What are they supposed to be? Uh, um, Grimace is supposed to be a, a milkshake, I think. But uh, uh, the fry kids are just. And I thought the fries were alive too. I thought all the food was alive. I guess they stopped doing that because the kids felt sad. They were killing the food. I told you we should have been a tree. Interpose's wedding day. Here's Rapunzel's wedding day. What? The Rapunzel wasn't a Pixar thing yet. They're just having. A generic Rapunzel. Princess Barbie miniatures. One in each Barbie. Barbie Princess Barbie. Oh. They were Barbie princesses before they were Disney princesses. We forgot the crew. Let's ask Billy. Let's ask Billy. Yeah, right. He said yay! Oh, Billy, what have you gotten yourself into? Where did Barbie get a slush drink? Where did Barbie get a slush drink? It's a Slurpee, you little fucking... <laughs> okay, don't admonish the children. Over the... Okay. <laughs> I'm just an asshole. I can't help it. I'm... I'm a product of my upbringing. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that food mart. That's a nice little food mart. Look fun. Barbie at the store. Love to shop here. Barbie love to shop here. Pretzels, anyone? Pretzels, anyone? I mean, look at all that shit. You can get a little peppy. A little peppy. A little, little cereals. Little, little goldfish. Kitchen littles. Oh, kitchen littles. Not a little tiny little thing. Not a little tiny little thing. People like the tiny things because they like the control. The control they exhibit over something lesser than them. Something they can. 
in this messed up chaotic world. It's just, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Make it go. I get it, Bobby, you and your... Big shopping, shopping store. Big shopping Kitchen little food mart comes with, with all this. Barbie doll bag. All this. Oh fuck, it's the Kawasaki. Oh fuck. That was badass. Pow, pow, pow wheels. Running over our cats. Ah! <laughs> Look at that badass thing. Yeah. Touch my web button. Ain't cool, Billy. Keep your hands on your own rev button. What's up with these? Uh, it the old, it the boomers versus the zoomers. Ew, old Ew, people. Old people. Old people. I know how you feel. Old people. Because... I fucking see one in the mirror every day. And it disgusts me. Get a clue. Get a job. Get a haircut. Get, get. Don't you ever tell me to cut my hair. It's my hair. Get some hair. Have some respect. Get some hair. <laughs> Have some prunes. Why are you? Uh, okay, that was a lesser. Get some prune. That was, that was not a not on the ball there, Jeffrey. I don't want to take this as just a Game Boy Pocket. Got a Game Boy Pocket. Oh, my God. We all got Game Boy Pockets. Junior's Major League Baseball. I only played a Game Boy in the little security arm clamp thingy at the Sears. Or was it the Dillard's? I don't The Dillard's probably. Dillard's had uh, that one with Wario. I, I played that one. That was fun. That was the only Game Boy experience I had. So uh, I'm not as fond of it. I played the Game Gear once for about 20 minutes before the batteries died. It was my sister's boyfriends and I played Mortal Kombat and Sonic and that was fun look at me rambling on like an old man Tristan Plus and Donkey Kong Land 3 that's basically what I am shit just rambling on I mean I was trying to make a cool YouTube series about psychological mm, craziness and it was gonna be it was crescendo and I was gonna like people aren't real and there's like a person suddenly hears and like what you're real and I, that's gonna be funny and uh, I was gonna make like a band out of me uh, I was gonna be all the members of the band and I I just and I put it all together and I just thought well if I just got a real band that would cut the work of that in about a quarter about 25 percent of effort would be required there just to have actual friends around to help but you know uh, I guess we're not all so lucky are we anywho moving on the world is a better place <laughs> I sure oh, wow world was a simpler place when we could bond over our portable gaming systems can we do that anymore I don't know I don't, I don't know what f there's like 20 of them out I don't know which which ones there's a switch is it portable I don't probably I, I don't want to get into the whole Nintendo thing I I stuck my stake with Sony and that's where I'm going to go into my death a Sony fan Nice hearing aid. What? What? Yeah, that's a cool car. That's cherry red, shiny as fuck. So tell me. Oh, it's one of those thingies. 
playbook to 79 countries. It's like this. Cartoon Network's the same in those countries as it is here. They're doing the Pulp Fiction thing, I can tell already. It's the Pulp Fiction thing. Except for little differences. They call them less puppies well. Yes, it's the Pulp Fiction thing. Okay. I called it. Called it before it even began. The dangerous danger. What the fuck is this? Uh, One day I bumped into this big shot TV guy I know. He said, I'm really desperate. Would you like to host a show? I said, I'm kind of busy here, saving the world from crime. But if the money's right, then money. You just don't see this kind of fun shit no more. It's a random fucking song interlude. It's just random bullshit. No, everything's got to be approved and signed off on. The rights. Everyone's got to get paid. Everyone's got to get paid. Dear Space Ghost, I really like you and I like it when you zap Zorak. Okay, so this is Cartoon Planet, I guess. Because Space Ghost, coast to coast, he's behind the desk doing interviews. And what's this? Going down. What is this? They're just singing a bunch of songs? Yeah, it's, it's Cartoon Planet, wasn't it? It's cool. Get Cartoon Planet. Yeah, that guy. And things are fun. It's just so much. So much bullshit now. It's hard to sift through it all. Simpler times. Simpler times. I get it now. I get the fucking simpler times thing. Let's use our imaginations. Let's use our imaginations. I would be a superhero. Oh. Ronald got swole. I am. I am. I am. I am. He's gonna stab the elephant. of the crossfire by himself. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh. I... Nobody played any of the board games I had. I played them all myself. All the time. It's so sad. So sad. Crossfire! Yeah! What the fucking Christ? It shoots a fucking plane into the air from the... Oh my god! It tanks? What? What the fuck? Why doesn't fucking toys shoot shit anymore? Oh yeah, because stupid children. Can't let stupid children die. Gotta let the stupid children grow up and make more stupid children. Fuck. <laughs> Jack, don't advocate for the death of stupid children. Well, why not? Because it's rude. Well, I guess that's correct. I apologize for suggesting that we murder all stupid children. Okay? With the means you can use. The Dal Sassoon. 
the good stuff. I'm the thick of it. Sassy hair, style that's perfectly you. Mm. Yeah. Tuggles. Tuggles. Everyone, Everyone loves Tuggles, tuggles. and now they're... It, have the, it had the, 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 the wiggle thing in the middle, so you just yank it and big it wiggle. Big Tuggles are giant, cuddling friends who really walk. Or maybe they're battery operated. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. When the trouble, the tiles. New tiles. You can help her walk. Each sold separately. I'm Ron Lightning, your eye to the mother sky. You can always see a storm coming. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Motherfucking Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, that was good. It was, it was, it was high tier cereal. Yeah. You know, I, I always liked the chocolate, but the Cinnamon Toast kind of got to me. Yeah. Looks like that. That one crazy chef. He killed the other two chefs. Baked their bodies into the cinnamon toast crunch. You know it. He never been the same since then. I'm thinking Ray. So of course I can see why kids got over cinnamon toast crunch. It blows them away. Blows them away. This is world of cinnamon sugar shining. Okay, bored of you now. Was this a little cocoa puff truck? Wheels, cars, one car, little big Hot big Wheels, cars with cinnamon toast crunch logos on them. Oh, French toast crunch, that was good. Sure, sure we, we all love things. things. Unlike all that. Unlike to do all that. I, I had this hey, dream Brack. that I went to Earth. I like Brack. Brack's cool. So, like me, cause of me. Hmm. I like how it, it, they, they, they used their entire library of intellectual property to make wonderful things. And everyone's gotten so greedy that's not possible anymore. It's just not. Everyone wants their perfect representation to be unmarred. And it, it just, it's just. It's not cool. Hey, it's that Sorry, guy. I, I'm <laughs> hey, I, I know that guy. He was on Ed Grimley. He was on Ed Grimley. Oh, my God. It's Count Floyd here. here. Let's, Let's all, all do, do the official Count Floyd. Floyd. Vampire Howl. Oh. Oh. Hey. What's up? I love Vampire Floyd. He... <laughs> Hey, I forgot he was part of Cartoon Planet. How did that work out? How did that work? He was on... I know he was on Ed Grimley. And that is Saturday Night Live. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This, is the, this is the magic of the 90s. The magic of the 90s. Totally. All right, then. Doing black magic in watching zombie type of dead guys. Dead guys. Oh, once upon a creepy time. Yeah. Let me tell you a little story. <laughs> He's a cool guy too. Vampire Floyd. Yeah, Floyd the vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're nearing the end of this little VHS stream of ours. And, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. What the f- Let's <gasps> stop, you dirty, dirty evil line. Dang. Uh, shit's awesome. Uh, thanks for joining me. I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, hopefully, I'm better at it next time. We're gonna try to go back to the old format, but, uh, doing it live stream, so I'll have to, like, I don't know do uh what is it photo putty powerpoint a powerpoint i have to do a powerpoint to have the little thing show all the images that i need from the episodes yeah and what else what else would you like to see anything you could just make your suggestions and that's 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 that all right well, great. So that was that episode. 
uh, enough creepiness from me for one time. Okay, is that is that cool? Enough creepy, crazy Jack's insane bullshit. Cause it wasn't playing. I just gotta be a cool guy, I guess. That's all I can be. All right. Well, that was that. So thank you all for joining me and uh, having fun in this thing we did. And I'll schedule something for next time when I figure out. Well, yeah. Is tomorrow good? Is tomorrow enough? I'll, I'll schedule something for tomorrow. How about that? All right. We're going to take a look at a cartoon next time. I'm going to take a look at a cartoon. I'm going to tell you a story about the cartoon. And it won't be just me rambling on for fucking ever watching a VHS. I'll do that again next time. But yeah, something else from not Cartoon Network. That that kind of, yeah, not that interesting. Yeah. So anyway, bye. So have a great day. And uh, I love you all. Very, 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 very,